All right, guys, this video tutorial is brought to you by ImageFX Media. Um, we're going to try to do today, we're going to combine pictures. Uh, I've seen some other uh, tutorials, they call it Swap in Skies. We'll be using masking channels. Uh, we're also going to use copy via paste into. We're going to do some adjustment layers. And finally, if we have some time, we're going to do some text. So let's get um, started. We are going to do, um, uh, let, me bring, let me bring the other picture. Here we go. We're going to try to do this uh, picture. Obviously, the original picture, it is this one right here. Uh, we remove the sky. And let me remove this. And the sky is right here. So what we're going to try to do is to have this guy inside of this one right here. First thing that we need to do is to remove this guy, obviously. Uh, let me just uh, double click on the background. Okay. I used to do, well, I used to work with the eraser, and I would do this. A lot of people do it. Uh, I used to do it like this. I don't do it like this anymore because it, it, it's not... It's not the right way, and it's not too it's not too good. Let's put it that way, uh, because when you get to these little areas here, like on this tree, it's going to be very very difficult to just to have the correct little dots, and and trust me, it's not going to come out good. So it's literally a a, a waste of time. So what we're going to do now is. And also, I don't use the uh, one tool because I'm in the same boat. Because on this, let me uh, click here. On when you work with the uh, one tool, you're gonna have the same problem. Let me let me delete this. Wait, let me let me do this real quick. Let me do this. See if I delete it, and if I have a different background on the back, let's make it. Uh, Let's make something so it can tell the colors. Uh, this one? Okay. And here we go. If, let me unselect this. If you see here, when I use my one tool, all these little spaces is not going to, uh, you just can't erase them. And again, unless you go with the one tool, one by one, by one and, and, and trust me, it's a headache and you don't have control over pretty much anything. So the best way to do it, uh, let me do my F12 to revert everything. There we go. Perfect. The, way, the best way to do it is just to do it with channels. Uh, here's your channels next to your layers palette. If you, don't, if you don't find it, just go to Windows, and you should have your channels right here. Okay? So we click Channels. Now the idea on channels is to have contrast. Black and white, uh, very simple. Black and white, not gray, not almost black, not almost white, black and white. What we do is we're going to check every single channel and see which channel gives us the best contrast. Uh, as you can see, on, when I click on the red channel, uh, it comes out good, but the problem is that we have, let me zoom in a little bit, right here on what appears to be a uh, church, it's not really a good contrast, correct? So let me do Control all 0 to bring, I'm sorry, Control 0 to bring the whole picture. We're going to click on the green channel. Now, the green channel looks much better because we have this little contrast here. Uh, and it looks pretty good, but I notice that here we're going to have a little bit of a problem. So let's just check on the blue channel. I think the blue channel is the best one we have. Uh, obviously, you can see the contrast. Uh, I guess this is, looks like a castle, and then we have a church, and we have some trees here. Um, so this one is going to be our best uh, option. So what you do is on the blue channel or whatever channel is the best as far as contrast, you make a copy of it. How do you do it? Just grab it and come here and just drop it, and you have your blue copy. That's what is going to come up. Once you have this, the idea is to have what? White here and black at the bottom. Everything black and on the on the top will be everything white. So what we do is we're going to bring our 
levels, uh, just doing control L or let me cancel this uh, image adjustments levels, which is the same thing as control L or command L if you have a Mac. Now, what we want to do here is to have uh, the Y slider, you know, bring it to the left and try to have it so you don't lose much of the um, sky, not the sky, but the borders. Let's call it let's call it the borders for now. Because if you do this, obviously everything comes out white, but you don't want it to be this white because it, it kind of takes the whole idea. And if you grab the black slider, same thing. You don't want it to come all the way here because, yeah, everything is black at the bottom, but now the, the sky is all white as well. I mean, black as well, so that doesn't help us. So what we want to do is to have somewhere in the middle so we don't have to work hard to take the white out. So something like this, something like this will be good. There we go. And perfect. So we'll click OK. We're going to bring our brush tool, which is the letter B. Uh, make sure the hardness is 100%. Uh, something bigger. There you go. Uh, you can change. Let me just click outside. Uh, the way you bring your foreground color, your back color, is just with the letter X. Um, that's it. So we have black. And we're going to paint on my channel. We're going to paint black. Very good. And we're going to do the same thing on top. We're going to play, paint it with Y, which is the letter X, and it changes. So there we go. Now, from here, from far, which is 33%, it looks good. But what happens when you start getting closer to the picture? Let me, uh, now we have it at 100%. As you can see at 100%, we, obviously, we need to paint this black. We need to paint this white. Here, uh, there's a, uh, just a small, same thing, but it's, just, it's another technique that you can do it so you don't have to do it with a brush tool. And let me, oops, sorry. Okay, so again, you bring your brush tool. Just let me get it smaller. There we go. Uh, change the color, the foreground color. And you do this, okay? Now, obviously, this is a tree, so a tree, you want to leave it the way it is. Uh, here, this is another tree, but this we can paint. We can paint away. Uh, same thing here. Obviously, when you're working on your pictures, you're going to have probably more time to be more uh, selective. Let me do this as well. Okay. So we have here a little bit of white. I'm sorry, some, a little bit of, of uh, gray. So just bring your lasso tool or the letter L. And we're going to grab some of this, kind of like this, and bring again your levels. And what you want to do is do pretty much the same thing. You see how you get rid of the Y just with the Y slide, the slider going to your left. And then same thing, make it a little bit darker. And that's it. Control D to deselect. And here we're going to do the same thing because it looks kind of gray. Control L. And we just want to bring the slider here. Perfect. Okay. Control D. And same thing here. Control L. We're going to get rid of some of the white. And we just bring a little bit of black. Control D. Here you can do it uh, just with your brush tool. Uh, letter X. And that should, that should do it. Perfect. It looks good. Control zero to bring the whole image back. And uh, now that you have this, this is what we wanted. Contrast, black and white. There's no gray. Black and white. We might have missed a little gray, but I'm sure you can you can do it yourself. So now you, uh, when the way you select this, again, you can do it with your one tool. Select it. Now it's perfectly selected. Let me uh, deselect. Uh, there's another way to do it. Just come here to your uh, layers where your blue copy is, or your channel actually, and just hold your control and click on it, and it does the same thing. So let's bring, let's come back to our layer palette and let's make a copy of our background, just for now. And as you can see, we have the layer, I mean the uh, the selection on the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our new sky. We're going to select all, which is Control-A, it selects it, 
uh, come edit, copy, minimize this. And here we're going to do edit, paste into. When you do a paste into, uh, you're going to create a mask, which is right here. Here's our mask. Now, as you can see, our sky, it's a little bit small. So we're going to transform it. We're just going to make it a little bit uh, so it fits our picture. Right here is good. And right here is good. And we're going to bring it up. That's good. Enter. Now, like I mentioned before, you want to see this at 100%. Right now, it's at 33.6. It looks good from here, but we're going to see how it looks at 100%. Control all zero. And it looks pretty good. You can, let me zoom in one more time. You see the sky? I mean, I'm sorry, the trees. You can see the sky behind it. That's, that's what we want. Same thing here. So it looks good. It looks pretty good here. Now you're going to have some little areas like this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video. That is a little bit maybe too wide. It has like a wide border. So what we're going to do is just click on the layer be below, which is the background. And you can bring your burn tool. This one right here. And just do a little clicks here and there. And that, sorry, that should do it. Uh, whenever you see that there's some white, uh, like a little white, uh, I don't want to say background, more like uh, like a shadow, uh, just a little touches here. And let me see, looks good here. Oh, see in the tree right here? Maybe a little bit here and a little bit there. This is good. Perfect. It looks pretty good. So we do a control zero to bring the whole image. So technically that's that's pretty much it. But obviously uh, having a uh, red sky and a green um, uh, front or a castle, it doesn't, it doesn't look too, um, let's call it realistic. So what we want to do is to have a, a filters. I'm sorry, we're going to do a adjustment layers. Uh, just click on the adjustment layers and just go to your photo filter. And we're going to pick something something blue, I guess. Now it kind of, uh, I want to say, uh, like combine, it kind of uh, combines both pictures so it doesn't look like before that it was red on top and green at the bottom. Uh, you can do it this way or you can do just one at a time. Uh, you can come here to your channel, I'm sorry, to your layer, which is the top. Hold your Alt and again come to your layers, adjustment layers, and go to go to photo, photo, photo filter, and just click this little checkbox which says use previous layer to create clipping mask. That means that it's only going to do it with this mask, the top mask. So click OK, and you'll see how it's going to change. Let's let's just bring some CN, I guess. I don't know, so see how it only changes the top. Just the uh, the sky, which in this case is our sky. Uh, let's bring another color, magenta. It changes it. Uh, any color, actually. Deep emerald. Yeah, that that's not that bad actually, because it's green sky and a green front. Uh, let's go underwater. So what I'm saying is, it, it only changed the top. You see the little uh, arrow right here. That's what it means. But just for the purpose of this one, we're gonna do just a whole. Um, all the uh, layers. So we're just going to bring this. No, that, I don't like that color. Let's bring a uh, dark color. There we go. So now it kind of looks better. You know, it's more like uh, a haunted uh, castle or haunted church, so such a thing. And the last thing, the only thing, you just bring your type tool. And I'm going to type my house. Here we go. And we're going to make Let's bring it black. Let's bring an aerial. And let's make it black aerial, something thick. And we're gonna bring just a regular white. So pretty much that's that's all there is to it. Alright guys, I hope you uh, you learned something today.